So let, let me get into some of the comments that... So, Gerard Mayo had this to say about Drake May. Oof. Look, he has a lot to work on. A lot to work on. But I have no doubt that he will, be, that he will put in the time. Uh, these, are, these are via team, team transcripts. Almost said transactions. Team tra- transcripts. <laughs> You didn't see him out here yesterday, but he was here all night trying to get on the same page as everyone else. Mayo also said that time, that's the biggest hurdle. Bruh, you picking Drake May this high? I'm sorry. He's got to go right now. <laughs> he has to. You picked he ain't got, three. He, he ain't got time. He ain't got time. He ain't got time. What, what, what do you think about this, Don? Well, this this whole thing about quarterbacks being drafted in round one, how we always say that should never happen. It shouldn't be allowed. They shouldn't be – these teams should not bank their future on these players because so few actually succeed right away. Um, it's not surprising. Not at all. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that they're struggling. The media builds these players up towards the end of the year through the combine, all the way up until the draft, these guys are like walk on water, according to the media. They are the best of the best. They Mm -hmm. cannot miss, but most of them do. That's just Mm -hmm. the fact. They just, most of them don't meet the media hype. Um, I, I wish these guys nothing but the best. I know they're going to get better. But it's not a surprise at all right now. Mm-hmm. Nobody should be surprised. Yep. You know, and I'm not surprised because the stuff that's being with me, especially, is stuff where we saw on film. Stuff that made, made us realize he, he's not the day one ready guy. He's not the guy right now to start. And the fact that it's coming out from the head coach of all people saying this stuff too, it just shows that film does speak volume. I mean, yeah. It, uh, well, uh, before I get into it, Sora, go ahead and go, go ahead and give your spiel, sir. Thank you. I mean, I have always been of the, you know, of the mindset that no rookie quarterback needs to be thrown in as the starter immediately. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it was, it was. I've been saying that before I met you, and I think the idea that both you and Don have of quarterback should not be taken until the second round, I, th- I think, makes sense. Because we look at the history of quarterbacks that are thrown in, not not the entire history, because obviously that'll be just different for any scale, but like recently of quarterbacks that waited a while versus quarterbacks that were thrown in the fire. I mean, look at guys like Baker Mayfield, Justin Herbert, um, you know, Patrick Mahomes at one point, Jalen Hurts. I mean, these guys all had mentors and were in, they sat and learned. Now, granted, you could say that they came in for a couple of plays, like with what Jalen Hurts did. But these are guys that had their seniors, like their mentors. They were playing. They still sat behind for a couple of games almost the entirety of the year before they came in. I mean, Baker Mayfield, it wasn't until... Well, actually, Baker Mayfield and Justin Herbert. It wasn't until Tyrod Taylor got injured. Uh, week three for Baker Mayfield against the Jets. And I believe it was week five before Tyrod Taylor had a punctured lung before Justin Herbert was the starter. And then they kind of took it away. Or they kind of took it away. He kind of took off and just had the keys in his hands at that point. I mean, there are a mm-hmm. lot of guys. There's a, I've, I feel like there are a lot more successful guys that have just sat for a bit longer versus we're throwing you in week one. Good luck, kid. The guys that have sat for a bit, for just a bit more, will tend to have the more successful careers. And I I have always thought that, and I will still die on that hill. And it's just, it's, I mean, it's upsetting. As much as I, agree that I didn't I thought look I thought Drake May was going to take the drop like with what Will Levis had and fall into the second round I truly thought that I I thought the Patriots should have taken Marvin Harrison Jr. because their receiver room was also bad I mean despite all that as much as we you know dog on these kids obviously I want them both to do well I dog on or not dog on I hope 
you know, all these quarterbacks do well. Caleb Williams, Bo Nix, Michael Penix, all those guys. But, I mean, it's just history is doomed to repeat itself. Of These guys are obviously going to struggle, and they're going to keep struggling. I mean, again, Drake May, your top three pick. This is the guy that you're replacing, you're hoping can bank on your franchise with. You failed with Mac Jones, and especially with the Patriots, who were spoiled with having Tom Brady and Bill mm-hmm. Belichick winning them six rings. They want, they don't, they're tired of the slow rebuild. They want success now. So that's added pressure onto Drake May. So I mean, the fact that your new head coach, granted, I think Gerard Mayo did the exact right thing. He is just speaking how it is. Yes, yep. he struggled, but yes, he's also working on getting better with it. Yeah. But if you're a top three pick, you need to show at least some promise. It needs to be more positive than negative from your head coach. And that's the thing. There was not enough reason to say that Drake May should have been a top uh, top three pick. I would have much rather the Patriots taken J.J. McCarthy a top three. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of coaches coming out and saying that their players are struggling, especially rookies, because you're just giving intel to a lot of other teams to, to go in there and play you. Super hard. I mean, I understand the Yeah, but I mean it's not like I mean, what's it Drake, doing? What's it doing for Drake? It's not doing anything. I, I get but that, but you've got all confidence. these re- I mean, I get that. But Twitter is a free space for everybody. Literally anybody could be could go look at the throw of Patriots media members posting this on clips and just being like, Oh, Drake May, blah 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 blah. Didn't have a good day, or overthrew, blah 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 blah. Yeah, Any, but that's that's, that's Twitter so- eggs versus Gerard Mayo. I, I get that, but Gerard Mayo is not saying anything that hasn't already been like physically shown. I I know, but still, like I mean, I get it, but like it's a third overall pick, and you're already saying, "Oh, he's not, he's and, not ready." Then why did you choose a first, him third overall? A first year head coach. I mean, this is all brand new for the Patriots. They're all banking their chips on these two guys right now. Come on, sorry. Gerard Mayo mean, played on, for Sora. Bill Belichick. He's been in this system for a long time. He knows how they roll. He just broke the mold. I yeah, mean, and the Belichick, I get you're okay, trying to the, be yourself. The Belichick like, era, exactly. He broke the mold because the Belichick era is over now. I he it. broke the mold, but they drafted a quarterback they would have drafted with Belichick because they did draft Mac Jones in the top 15, which they don't – they usually trade back at. Here's my thing. Little trivia question for a lot of people. How old was Tom Brady when he was in his rookie year? 24, I believe. I don't know, like 22, 23. 23 years old. Yeah. Ah. So a lot of people One. that's out there complaining about Michael Penix Jr., Bo Nix, and all the rest <laughs> of these dudes, I need y'all to go look at well. Thomas Brady and how old he was when he was a rookie. Oh, so a lot let's of throw that, that narrative well out there. Guys the like Ricky. The, oh, so two. Oh, wait, hold up. Continue, <laughs> sir. So let's just put it like that. Like, Older guys that have lived a little bit longer that are not 20-year-old Drake and May might have a little bit more experience in life. Just through I think when I was when I was 20 years old to when I was 23, I was a completely different person. Yeah. It it seems like a short time, but that like you're getting out from high school, you're becoming an adult, you start paying your own bills, and like things change within those three years. Like I always tell my wife that and all that. So yeah. I tell my wife that all the time. Like, those are the three years that, like, I felt like a complete change in my life had happened. And I can reflect and be like, I wasn't the same person. So, if that's kind of the standard, and Don's shaking his head too, if that's kind of the standard, I I would agree. Yeah. You have to understand that he's probably not ready, that he needs to sit behind somebody for a couple of years and learn how to, to do this thing. Um, the re- well, one of the reasons why I say quarterbacks should be chosen in the second round is more so so teams are not screwing themselves with the first overall pick to get somebody that would really impact your team because quarterbacks seem to screw everybody up. Like think, it's gonna- they, their wide receiver room is absolutely – they could have gotten a Marvin Harrison Jr. or like a Malik Neighbors yeah. with third. Probably Marvin no, – I say Malik Neighbors. It would have been Marvin Harrison Jr. at third, and then they would have gone in the second round and gotten like – I mean, granted, most of the quarterback, I say most of the quarterback, six quarterbacks are already off the board by then. But, you know, you, you have to think if Drake May is still there, if Bo Nix falls to the second at that point, you look at Spencer Rattler, who won in the later round, so you can get a couple things. You also already have Jacoby Brissett and um, 
Bailey Zappi Bailey already. Zappi. So, I mean, it's not like you were hurting at quarterback. It's not like, I, I get it, you needed your franchise quarterback, but you could have gone other picks before drafting a rookie quarterback. Because it was Well, it's not like when... And and here's the here's the other thing, right? Aaron Rodgers was 22 when he made his first start too. Yeah. So and he sat behind somebody. No, 24, 25. He started in 2008. He was 22 when he was. Oh drafted. wait, no, it was 22 when he was. It was his rookie year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I just and I then, just verified it. As but well. but like the, the thing is, is that these guys are not 20 years old when they start. Now you could look at Ben Roethlisberger, Philip Rivers, and Eli Manning. What did they all go to in that draft? Really good situations for all of them. Wow. This wasn't this wasn't Tom Brady going to the Patriots when they sucked. This wasn't Aaron Ro- well, Aaron Rodgers had to sit behind Brett Favre, but you yeah, see what I'm saying? You either had to sit there. <laughs> or you're putting yourself in there in a really good position. I don't I don't know. I just never agreed with that, but 